All right, part two. So there's a seven pot yellow, which is sort of on the edge here, and it's not doing as well as it should. And this is a, I think this is a Dorset Naga at the back here. So now he's been killed. I mean, those stains are like something that's um, been left on there, but I think there's a, there's a dark hole in there too, so he's dead. So I'm gonna throw him over to the bucket. Just got a couple, got a couple in there. So basically everything's doing pretty well. No, I'm looking into the sun here, but I'm trying to shoot. So despite we had one cool day and um, everything went a bit bad, and all the nutrients have run out. And then I started foliar feeding and it's warmed up again. And it's all going good. And the ones in the pots, can't say the same for them. This um, Aruga yellow, he's not looking very good. But all the ones in pots don't do as well as my my ones in the in the ground. Harissa, it's a nice little one. Zimbabwe black, the stingy little pods. Kamari, I think they've got some ripe ones further along. It's a smaller pot, smaller weaker plant. Tasmanian red, so called that way because of the shape. Ah, and my um, scarlet lantern are all starting to um, ripe and go from the, the purple and they turn yellow and then they, they go red. These are quin tissue. Little, little pods, funny little things. This is obviously a sick plant. He's got some sort of mould or something on him. Hungarian black. Another harissa. This one's been pushed over. Ah, oh, this one has, looks like it has a lot of promise. If it could ever get started, Taka no Sumi. I don't know how to say it. Is it from Japan? Um, it's got all these clusters. And I might do this next year and get a big plant in the ground. See if I can get a big cluster of pods. Ah, oh, actually hot cherry. I'm pretty sure they're meant to be bigger than that. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to try with them. What's that? Oh, that's a that's a Takanotsumi as well, but it's a bit bigger. The tag's broken off. Yeah, so all my potted plants are um, coming along. There's another Kumari. Look at this crazy one, Rocatillo. It's a Bacadam. Um, I've had one pod that got eaten out by the bugs. I'm just waiting to get a good one to make a hot chocolate. He's done well considering he's in a pot. And we've got taller ones. We've got uh, Mulatto. Um, to like a Bacilla, I've got a much better plant of that just over the other side. Well, like all these, all these plants in pots just um, all have the promise of doing something good, but. Because they're in pots, I can't grow in pots for shit. Um, they just haven't performed. So I've got quite a few goat's weeds. Goat's weeds, and then there's two lots of goat's weeds there. Some jalapenos, Bahamian bird pepper. Got a big one of them as well. If we go around here. This one's decided to flower up. Habanero agrugio. And I've got a lot of little ones which never really took off. It's a bit late in the season now for them to achieve any sort of bigness. Look through here. Got more scarlet lanterns, they seem to be doing well. And this is a primo. Got a few little baby primo pods. That's a nice one. But um probably a bit too late too. Too little too late. It's my um would you lock here plant? It's hard to get a scale on this thing because it's um it's so big I can't really get too far above it to see how big it is. It's really sprawling. All the leaves are curling out because it's overwatered and it's got these little black dots on the leaves, which is some sort of um mould or something, I don't know. But it's still got a few pods there. A few nice hot pods. I've been losing quite a lot to bugs. But um I'll save some good seeds from that one, we'll plant him next year. 
And then these ones have come good late on. I'm quite happy with these ones. Got another um, yellow seven pot. Look at that. I think give it a good shot. He's ready for picking, for picking off. Look at that, nice big pod. No, no little puncher holes. Feels nice and firm. That's actually, I got these seeds from Cappy, that created with the brain strain. I'm not sure if they're actually supposed to be brain strain, yellow seven pot brain strain, or just yellow seven pot. They're nice and wrinkly. So. Happy about that one. So I'm gonna have to plant them next season, give them a good whole season worth of growth, see what it can do. Nothing going on there. This little one didn't really work. We've got this one, we've got Congo Trinidad. Really short plant, as you can see. Really short plant, but um potted up underneath. I've thrown a few out for um, bugs. But considering the size of the plant, there's quite a lot of pods there. You can't complain. And then we've got fatalis. You know, I had about six or seven plants. I don't know what this happened. And so decided to aphidize. Really, I haven't had problems with aphids. I haven't seen anything like that at all. So, um, since the ladybugs came in and decided to eat everything. But I had about five Fatali pods and they've all been bugged out so far. Hopefully these ones will give me something, something good. He's still going. I've got to walk around a long way because there's a spider web there and I don't want to disturb it. He's busy catching bugs, moths and crap, hopefully. And then my other butcher lockier plant. I don't know if you can see that, there's like little eggs in the fold of the pod there. And, um, I'm not sure if they're good bugs or bad bugs, but I'm pretty sure they're good bugs. Okay, he's ready to come on. It's a nice butcher, a bit small, but good. Yeah, he's a good one. This one's doing well. Okay. So this Chillax Bacilla had, um, has prawns laid in the pot and these three pods have been there for ages and finally turned brown and there's another story of pods on the top that's big too this one feels a bit wrinkly soft there so that's probably not good this one too he's got little marks so they probably won't be viable pods but it's done pretty well now the goat's weeds I've got lots of goat's weeds um, Mulato Bahamian Bird Pepper. This had layers of different materials and I think I went a bit too hard on the moisture um, retaining stuff. And so the leaves are all curly, curling up from too much water. But, you know, I'm still getting pods out of it. So I might have to just dial back the dripper here. I'll just I'll turn that and dial back to get more. That's my chili garden. I think last time, the last update, the shade cloth was still on, so that's it.